I'm making a short rant about how uh, a lot of, there seems to be a societal misconception that um, people who are single don't have anything else important in their lives except for their career and perhaps taking care of themselves and sometimes not even that. And um, I, was, I was just thinking about um, how I had got upset about a client of mine who had canceled on me. I, I, I talked about this in the previous video. Part of the problem is that um, I had a time where I tried to hide the fact that I was single from everybody around me. At my workplace, with my clients, even amongst my social circle, does not go very well. For one thing, it's very hard to, to keep a lie going. I mean, if you hang around somebody long enough, um, it's it's very hard to keep your your story straight. So first of all, it, that's you know it, it, it's hard to keep it straight, and then it's bad for your credibility. You know, at the workplace, you don't want to be known as a liar, even if it's a personal matter. Okay, the other reason I no longer try to hide this fact is that I want people to know. Um, I, I want people to know my interests so that it can help me meet my future wife. You know, I, I think. Um, I think a better approach, which is kind of the approach that I take today, is to let it be known that I'm single, and then to educate people about the, the, the realities of, of, of a different uh, uh, lifestyle. Um, and unfortunately, uh, some people uh, who, uh, who uh, you know, if they're far removed from being single, they have a hard time. Or, or maybe they were single in a different era in our society, they, they might have a diff difficult time relating to it. Now, get, don't get me wrong, I don't go to the workplace and then go on a loudspeaker and go, hey, I'm single, you know, I want to meet people who do X, Y, and Z. It doesn't work like that. The way it works is, what are you doing Memorial Day weekend? Oh, I'm writing some computer games. Maybe I'm going to a computer gaming conference, or uh, I'm taking a trip to uh, to a nearby town where there's some dark skies and I like to view the, the night sky. And uh, usually that's how it, uh, how I uh, uh, tell that I'm single. Uh, well, the problem is, uh, I had a client who uh, I was going to do a, a tutoring session. It was a uh, two hours from five to seven p.m. And I had I had scheduled a date with a girl I met online right after that. And this was going to be our third date. So so I need to give a good impression, obviously, and then I get a I get a text message at 3, and I get really nervous, because the only two people who could be texting me at that time are both the client and the girl I was going on the date with, and I got really nervous that one of them had canceled on me. And I look at the text, and it's the client, and he wants to start the session at 6. And, uh, you know, it's kind of funny, because had I responded to him that, uh, you know, I, I got to take care of my kids, you know, you know whatever... It probably would have gone a whole lot easier. Uh, I didn't want to tell him. The kid, he's 15 years old. I, I really can't tell him that I'm going on a date after this. I don't think it's very age appropriate. Uh, and uh, I, knew he, I knew he knows that I like viewing the night sky. So I said, well, there's really something coming up. You know, uh, can we at least start at 5.30? So we, we haggled it to 5.30. And um, even then, I ended the session a little bit early, 6.15, so he took some of the loss. He still paid me for the two hours. We put, we put me in a bind, because I really needed the income, and I also needed the... I also would have liked to go on the date, which I, I, I did end up going on, but it was a little bit rushed um, getting there. Uh, but, you know, the, I don't think the same story would play out if somebody were married. And um, I don't know why there's such inequality for somebody who's um, in a different phase in their li lives. They're looking for their future spouse, you know, like how I was uh, last year. Uh, I'm still seeing this girl, so there, there's a there's a chance that she's my future wife. Not a very high chance, but oh, uh, it's, it's just a different phase of the same game as far as I'm concerned. I don't know why it gets treated differently. Anyways, oh... Uh, uh, I just want to put this message out there that single people have lives too, and they certainly need to take good care of themselves as well. You know, they they certainly can't miss sleep any more than somebody who has kids could. Thanks for watching.